Some good news, ladies and gents. So, the Highlander reboot make thing with Henry Cavill and Chad Stileski will be using the Queen music. Oh, yes. No, I'm not being facetious. This is great news. I'm genuinely really happy about this. I think this is great. So, Chad Stileski, any statement he's made about this sounds great to me. Absolutely sounds great. So, hit subscribe if you're new here. Let's dive into this good news for a change. Finally, people in Hollywood, I guess, like listening to people. Well, like Chad Stileski, he's kind of like Hollywood adjacent, isn't he, really? He's in it, but very much uh, on the button when it comes to what fans want. Ask and ye shall receive. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Henry Cavill Highlander reboot to use Queen music. So, the... The thing about this, uh, in terms of the budget as well, so there is actually going to be a pretty big budget, 100 plus million dollars, which is not, it's not that big for, a, for a, you know, Chad Stileski and what he does with John Wick. Those movies have never actually been over 100 million dollars. I think the latest one was the highest one, John Wick 4, and that was like 90 million. So you can imagine what they're able to do with 100 plus million dollars. That's crazy. But the other good thing is, well, yeah. He spoke to the rap about John Wick 4 potentially getting an Oscar. And the site used that as an opportunity to ask Chad Stileski if Henry Cavill Highlander reboot will be using the Queen music. Which was featured in the original movies starring Christopher Lambert and Adrian Paul uh, TV series. Now Queen basically made a whole album specifically for this. And just released it. Well, they, they made all the music and then released it as an album. And Chad just goes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Straight up, yes. Probably in a different way than you think, but hardcore, yes. So that's kind of cool. I mean, maybe it'll be background tracks. Maybe it'll be peppered in here and there. You know, like weaved in with what characters are listening to. I think that's a really cool, uh, cool idea. Nuance. So Queen actually released, and this is the statement that I sort of elaborated on. They released an entire album based on the Highlander soundtrack with A Kind of Magic, which features music played in the original 86 movie, including the album title and Who Wants to Live Forever, Don't Lose Your Head, uh, and of course the movie and TV series theme music, Princes of the Universe. So Stileski would say the following, we're trying to encapsulate, this is, he just gets it, we're trying to encapsulate everything you loved about the original with more. Uh, more meaning. We want to ground it. We want it to be a great chance at world building and mythology. But we still want to keep it fun. Yeah, please. Thank you. That's what we want. Uh, and he also, you know, sort of compared, I guess, to John Wick. So he goes, it's like the Wick movies. You want to experience this world. You want to believe it's real. But it's also five degrees off from reality. This is a movie with immortals running around chopping each other's heads off. There's a certain ridiculousness to it. It's like the Wicks. Yep. Great explanation. We ride the tone. Everybody in the movie thinks it's real, but we as an audience can get our heads around it. Look, suspend disbelief. We're trying to get you on board for this amazing journey with people who have lived hundreds of years. It's a challenge, but I'm ready for it. Now they say this, um, well everyone's been saying this, it's going to start production next year. They're actually already in Scotland, by the way. Um, so they are actually already there on location currently. I don't know if they're shooting yet, but I know that they're pretty much all up there ready to go. Uh, they've been driving around in uh, big Land Rover Defenders, the brand new ones. Yes, I have sources. Um, <clears throat> this is great news. I'm keen for this, massively so. I think this is going to be great. I think Henry Cavill will be absolutely stellar in this. I've said many times, and I stand by it, I think he should play the Kurgan. I think it'd be different for him. But uh, I think him playing McLeod will be cool as well. So there you go. Give the video a like and a share. Cheers, guys. Take care.